Okay, we have Valus Jones, Jr. He will go straight to questions. Who would like to ask? We'll go here in the front row to your right. Um, Vilas, how uh, excited are you about playing in this offense with Josh Heupel coming in, who's had a lot of success as both the player and the coach? Man, you know, this is a dream come true. You know, growing up as a kid, everybody, you know, as a receiver, you dream about catching a lot of footballs, and I'm, I'm so excited. I can't even, I can't believe it, you know, when they announced um, uh, Coach Heupel is the coach. And, you know, I did my research and stuff, and we're going to have a lot of fun, me and my receiving core and tight ends with this offense. Like, I don't know, I feel like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> Do you sense a lot of excitement around the school? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, sir. OK, we'll go here on the left front row. Um, just coming off of last season, I know COVID just impacted a lot of things, especially offenses, because not having that um, spring camp, fall camp. But this year, of course, it's like a renewed energy with a uh, new head coach. And you just said your excitement. What are you looking forward to just getting better at um, this upcoming season and looking forward to with your new head coach? Um, I'm looking forward to, you know, becoming a better leader, you know, leading those young guys, our young receiving core, and, you know, being a, like a big brother to them, you know, just telling them everything will be all right. You know, we get a lot of work in on the weekends and, you know, just spending time with those guys and also the quarterbacks, you know, us bonding together um, every chance we get. So I feel like that's where, um, that's where it matters at, you know, the brotherhood, because that's, those will be the people you go to war with on Saturdays. And so, I mean, it's going to be like, um, like I said, it's going to be an amazing, amazing season. Um, I'm very excited about it. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Back to your right front row. Um, when you look at 2021, you know, hopefully it's more of a normal football season opposed to last year. So from that standpoint, you know, playing in front of full stadiums again in the SEC, how exciting is that that you didn't have it last year? I can only imagine, you know, I grew up as an SEC fan, you know, watching SEC football. And so, you know, last year we had like 30% capacity and this year um, it'll be 100%. And I know Neyland fits over 100,000 people. And so I can only imagine how that would feel. You know, I haven't played um, last season. We won at full capacity. So, man, I'm just excited. You know, we have the first game Thursday night, September 2nd. and. You know, I'm going to do, you know, that's why I'm putting in my work now to put on the show. Bayless, to your left, second row. What do you remember from the Kentucky game last season? Um, a lot of adversity. And, you know, adversity is something that, you know, you can overcome or you can back down from. But it's a part of the game. Um, a lot of adversity. And so, mainly, you can do nothing about it. Uh, we knew as an offense, you know, Kentucky, they like to control the clock. And so it was not pretty much you can do about that. And so, you know, we're looking forward to um, this season with this new offense. That'll be really exciting um, to play in. Um, speaking for me and my receiving core and my tight ends, um, really looking forward to that. But, you know, you only can look, to, you only can look forward to, um, to the future. And that's what we're working on. So this year will be a very exciting year, you know, um, to show off this new offense. To your right on the second row. Angela Moore, News 12 Chattanooga. You guys lost so many playmakers to the transfer portal, graduation, whatever. How are you filling those holes on offense? Um, you know, um, to the people that left, like those are like brothers to me. And I wish them the best. You know, we all have a goal. We all have our goals and stuff. And, you know, players need to do what they need to do you know, to make sure they're happy with, the, you know, um, with their health and well-being. And so, you know, filling in those holes, I, like we all know it's like the next man up. And so, you know, everybody's just been grinding for the people that stay, grinding, staying focused, you know, not trying to listen to any outside noise, but, you know, just staying close, you know, because we all we got at the end of the day. Um, when it comes to workouts, waking up early, um, running, um, spring ball, fall camp, you know, it's, it's only us. And so we're going to stick to that, and we're going to grind together, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure the season is a um, successful one. We're going to stay on your right in the back row. 
Hey, Charlie Potter with 24-7 Sports. Just kind of keeping with the transfer portal trend, I want to ask about uh, Henry Toa Toa. Obviously, he's now at Alabama. Just what kind of player is he, and how would you describe him as a teammate? Um, Toa is a um, great guy. Um, I knew, I heard about him um, when I was at USC, and I know he has some cousins I played with also. But he's just a, he's a, he's a special player, but overall, he's an even better person, um, real humble. Um, down-to-earth person. Uh, we know on Saturdays what he's capable of. Uh, he's a great, overall great person, but on the field, um, a great player also. And so, like, like I said, I love that guy. Uh, he's a great, he's a great, he's a great guy, great player. And, you know, looking forward to, you know, seeing him on the field. And so, you know, I wish the best, to, I wish the best for him. So, yeah, it's like a brother to me. We'll go to your left on the front row again. Of course, when you look at the SEC East, a lot of people are quick to jump to Georgia and Florida as one of the top contenders coming out of the East. Um, but Tennessee obviously has that next step to get in that conversation to ultimately be where they at. Where would you say offensively you guys definitely need to take it up a notch to get to that level? Um, you know, we don't really listen to, you know, outside noise. We only can focus on us. And I feel like uh, our main focus is playing Bowling Green on September 2nd. And we'll take it game for game after that, you know. Um, never look too far down the head. Everything, you know, take care of itself if we take care of business. So we just focus on us as a team. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, you know, just take it one day at a time, not looking that far down, down, you know, down the stretch. To your right, second row. With the addition of Joe Milton, Coach Heifel just said in the main media room that competition is the best friend of a coach. How have you seen that quarterback competition play out? All those guys are competitive, um, from Joe, from um, Hendon, um, Harrison, and also Brian. Like All those guys are competitors, great guys. Well, we all have a great time in the locker room, talking, we're all socializing. Even though we compete, we're brothers at the end of the day. And you, you know competition, um, brings the best out of all players. And so, you know, we're all out there competing, even myself. Um, and so, you know, you know, those guys are all great people, great players, and they're all competing. And, you know, that's pretty much all you can ask for, you know, getting extra work with those guys on the weekend. Uh, great guys. I'm really excited for this fall camp. I know it's going to be a lot of competition between us and the defense. OK, we're going to go back to your left third row. Ben Bobick, WRCB in Chattanooga. Uh, coach has been talking about how the offense, you guys want to play fast. Have you guys had to up your fitness and conditioning? Has there been a difference from last year to this year and how you guys have been working and, and getting them into shape? Um, yeah, you know, um, during workouts, we have a um, running session, uh, which is like kind of fast, like fast tempo, and it gets you used to that um, lining up fast, you know, the way um, Coach Hypo likes it. And so I feel like we came a long ways because we all know this is a receiver's dream, but you know, it's always something attached to it. And you know, that's staying, you know, in shape, um, building your endurance. And so um, that's what we've been, you know, just trying to make sure we're in top notch shape and stuff so we can be you, um, that exciting offense that you know Coach Hypo can bring to the table and putting on the show. We have any other questions? Bayless, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.